Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Virtue's Last Reward. Last time we finished off the PEC room. Uh, took a little L there. Could not think out of the bot, outside the bot, I guess is how you say it, for the, the calculator number color puzzle, but you know what? We move past that, and we just carry on. So, we escaped, we... I guess we went down and we found another warehouse, which I assumed is probably, um... They probably have those elevator rooms in here, so you don't have to run back up to, uh, cash in the points, I would think. And we can already see a white door in the background, so... Interesting, interesting. But yeah, let's see what happens this episode. We're probably playing another, uh... The voting game, the Ambidots game. Hopefully we can uh, convince Tenmyoji to ally and Clover not to betray. <laughs> Is this another warehouse? Also, thanks for the 160 subs. I appreciate it. Hmm, is it another number nine door? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. It would have been cool if it's another ni if there is another nine door, so even if one closes, you can still get out. But I don't know if they'll do it with this kind of rule set. True, but it's rusted over. I don't think it's opening anytime soon. Well, shoot. We couldn't possibly open that with our bare hands. Okay, don't don't have to say it like that, Clover. Huh. <laughs> oh, there's white doors only. Oh my god, what were the colors? So I think the the mitzin to make white from last episode is just, um, because black is, mid it's, it's one of the others. It's like red, green, and blue equals, uh, or red, yeah, red, green, blue equals either black or white and magenta, yellow, scion equals black or white. I assume it might be magenta, uh, scion. Yellow, because those sound lighter, but I don't know. I don't know, I just remember freaking colors from last episode, man. <laughs> All the charts I looked at. Are they chromatic doors? True. So you're saying all the chromatic doors for the next round are white? Maybe it just means you can team up with anybody. No black doors. <laughs> Before we could discuss the doors any further, a familiar robotic voice crackled over the speakers. Oh, I thought K was coming. Oh, someone's going right for the points. I guess maybe the Ambidets, uh rooms aren't in this warehouse. What? Snaking? I think if you don't vote the team's ally, automatically ally. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's the strat since, um, well, I don't think Alice and Kay would do it, but like, since Quart is still knocked out, he wouldn't be able to vote. So it's like a free ally or betray for them, depending on what they want to do. Someone's snaking. Feel like it could be Dio. 
Yeah, none of them came here, unless we finish super late, which might be a thing to I took forever, but still. Right, got it. We're zooming. Yeah, so no Ambidex rooms there, so we have to like wait a while, huh? Or run all the way back. It's a little rough. Come on, boys. Zooming. But, like, what's the point? 45 minutes is so long. It feels like it doesn't really mess anyone up. Unless they're, like, knocked out, like, quartz. Or so. I. Or. Oh! I guess if you're, like, still doing the puzzle. Because they can activate it while your other teams are puzzling. But still, it doesn't really, like, matter on their part. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird, weird strats. Anyways, who did it? Who done did it? I just you can't even figure it out to be honest, because it, because it, it doesn't matter which room they go into, right? We return to Flory Warehouse to find only two people waiting for us. K, who gone through the red door. And Dio who gone through the green door. Dude, it's I trust K so much, honestly. I feel like K is one of the people I trust the most. Bro, I'm telling you, kids possessed. I'm so glad we didn't take them with us. It would have been crazy, man. Or is he still not there? I don't know. The way they described it made me think he woke up. <laughs> okay. Tenmyoji ignored K and took off at a run through the yellow door. Are we going to? Nope. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what happened? Clover and I looked at one another, eyebrows raised. Um, what happened? You're not telling us? What? Oh, nice. Good news. Okay. Then we can cure quartz radical sets. Well, I guess we should head over to the infirmary and see how he's doing. Come on, let's go. Who activated the freaking... Who put a time limit on this shit? <laughs> I guess, like, if you can't... I wonder, like... Because, like, the next chromatic doors automatically have, like... Or, I don't know, actually. I forgot the rules. If the time starts for the next chromatic doors, like, right away. After everyone's finished or after, um... The Ambidex stream. Never mind, then. <laughs> Luna's voice was quiet as she stepped back from Quark. She held an injection gun with an empty vial. Delicately, she placed it back in the cabinet. Quark had been laid out on a crude cot and was still sound asleep. His breathing was even and his expression was peaceful. He looked like any other child sleeping soundly after a long day of doing whatever it is children do to amuse themselves. Any trace of the insanity he'd shown earlier was nowhere to be found. Is 
しばらく経てば体内のウイルスは駆逐されるというわけだなそのはずですよかったわね本当にうんほっとしたよ一時はどうなることか I felt some of the tension disappear from my shoulders, and I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. We weren't out of the woods yet, but at least Quark was safe. Tenmyoji let out a long, shaky sigh and lowered himself onto one of the empty beds. He rubbed his hands wearily across his face, and I thought I saw the glint of tears. Bro, I'm telling you, it's a freaking demon or something. I mean, it said he has radical soot, so I guess he has it, but I don't trust it, bro. Nice. So Dio and K were the ones who opened the AB gates? Well, I don't even know if that's sketchy, because I'm pretty sure they just did it to uh, alert us to go back. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I nodded and headed back toward the other side of the room. I was nearly there when Tenmyojin suddenly spoke. Huh? Yes, I do. This thing. Kind of forgot until you mentioned it. <laughs> In the infirmary. Hmm? I remember. Oh, yeah, there it is. Right, yeah. Well, let's give it a shot. Okay, just give me a minute here. I slid the card into the slot net to the screen. No sooner had I done so than an image of a waveform popped up on the screen. Ooh. Luna tapped a few things on the screen and a bar began to move across the screen. Before long, a voice drifted out of the speakers. Alice? <laughs> oh, the moon! Dude, I don't know when you hear old girl. Frozen Alice. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Astronauts? What was that? Firework <laughs> outside? <laughs> that was kind of spooky.
dead. Oh my god, is it aliens? <laughs> Nine? Oh, God. <laughs> Kinda sounded like Luna, but I don't know. Maybe not. Um, help? This is some future shit. Bro, I remember that thing with Dio? Like, two, three episodes back? Where I'm like, the way he responded, like, to when we were talking to him in the lounge. And I got confused because it sounded like... Like, I talked about some future shit, too. Like, I don't know, man. Dio is freaking sketchy, man. It's something weird like that. It's some weird... Like, this radical since pandemic thing. Like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> some weird time shit going on. Don't mess with time. I'm, I don't know, dude. Is is that it? I thought they were astronauts, but when he said test subjects and nine of them. Uh... <laughs> Any ideas? I got only frowns and shaken heads in response. Only one person showed a reaction other than stunned and confused. Stunned, stunned confusion. Tenmyoji. Long after the audio ended, he stared at the screen, deep in thought. Like, I have no idea. Like, his radical sits like a virus from the future or something? And someone can just see the future? Kind of, kind of, like, wasn't that how June's power worked? She saw, like, all the routes, possible futures or something? So something like that's happening? And like the newspaper, it's fake because they're talking about like this year. Also, like, weren't isn't the eclipse like in the future? But the, I was gonna say when they mentioned the eclipse, I was like, oh, maybe they've been asleep longer than they thought, than Sigma thought. But I don't know, dude. I'm confused. We'll learn, I'm sure, as we go on. Okay. They are astronauts. Are we on Mars? Uh, news to me? Sounds kinda badass though. Why are they called annihilation particle annihilation engines? Yeah, I don't know, 
Ah, nice. Oh, they're not on Mars. They're just simulating Mars. Okay. I thought they were on Mars. They're like making a similar atmosphere. And, I mean, it made sense, I guess. Bro! That's the base they used for 999. But like, I guess they just bought it off them? Or is it the same people? Are you telling me the 9... No, I, I don't know. Are, are the... Oh, I was gonna say the 9 people from both games going to Mars next stream. <laughs> but I guess it's not 9 since... One's dead. Ruining the whole thing, huh? So what we just listened to as a transmission from that project. どうしてそんなものがここに詳しい理由はわからん。ただメモリーカードは金庫の中にあったんじゃ。ゼロの思惑が絡んでおることは間違いなかろう。つまりゼロは我々にこの音声データを聞かせるためにメモリーカードを配
世界中へと広がっていったのではないかと考えられておるんじゃその結果六十億もの人間が Obviously not いや厳密に言うとそうではないラジカルシックスの感染症によって死亡したのはそのうちの三分の一程度ではないかと言われておる I, I'm confused. Does, does no one know what it is? I guess they just never told the world about it. Well, I mean, the World Health Organization knew. What are you talking about? Wow, um, damn, I have a lot of questions. I don't even know where to start. I mean, obviously that doesn't make sense with Sidma's memory, because he was just chilling. He was just chilling. And then for most people, they, they don't... I, I don't know, dude. I don't even know where to start knowing where to start. Yeah, I'm with you, Sidma. <laughs> doesn't really line up with the memories. You're telling me six billion people died? <laughs> Oh no, take that back. Explain the, that date. Unless I heard this wrong, the day the radical sit start out was December 31st, 2028. But the day I got grabbed by the guy in the dash smash was December 25th, 2028. Oh? Okay. Oops. Then you see what I'm saying, right? Oh, I thought she might have said more. That recording was made close to a week after we were all picked up. Right. So it is some weird... Dude, I knew the eclipse was weirding me out because I thought they mentioned that. What the hell is going on here? It's some weird time shit. That thing is from the future. Oh my god. Just say it. Just say it. You you made this place. Or, I don't know. Probably not, but... You made a time-traveling device. Oh my god, he's from the future? He made the time-traveling device? Like, who knows how far in the future? Post-apocalyptic to save the world? Oh, cock block. Come on. Oh my, you better explain before we... Oh, I know, because they're gonna want to explore. I feel like this is more important, though. Hey, oh, it's a moment of truth, guys. Are we gonna die or not? Wait, you haven't answered. Don't care. <laughs> but ちょっと半端に話したところで余計な誤解を招くだけじゃ。But <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I forgot she was in a pair. Hey, Tenmyoji. It, it did sound like he wants to pick ally. Because he is in kind of a better headspace now. I know Clover's kind of want to pit betray, but... I believe. <laughs> Tenmyoji gave her one last nod, then turned and dashed out of the infirmary. Not going with them yet. Well, that's that, I guess. 
We should probably be going too. I agree, Fi. We returned to the warehouse to find only Kay. I explained what had happened with Court, then glanced around the room. Hey, where's Dio? <laughs> Who is? Oh yeah, he was working with uh, Fi and Luna. Yeah. <laughs> Just pit the safety betray. That's the safe option, honestly. Honestly, that's true. Now that I think about it, the safest option is betray, because you don't, you can't lose points with it. Ally's kind of the the team building one. Okay, with yeah, with the one you gotta choose betray, unless you're a madman like me who's going hard to alley. Death. Yep. Hey Alice, don't you have one BP too? <laughs> and Quartz just knocked out, so it's an auto ally. Wonder if they'll abuse the position and get free points for betray, or just take the ally points. But what if Alice and Kate choose betray? He has points to spare. But we know A Alice and Kay are part of the ally revolution. Honestly, the Chad moved to choose ally round one, like me. <laughs> I love his worried face, man. Such a nice position. Oh god, the the wild dots, you hear that? It always starts in winter. I guess because it, well, it's not winter, yeah, but it's cold, man. Lots of howling around <laughs> my neighborhood at night. Yeah, that would be- wait, what am I reading? Look at those good souls. So you'll vote to ally? What if Quart waits up and just chooses betray, kills Alice? Horrible ending. <laughs> Kay and Alice nodded to one another and disappeared into the AB room section from the right. Without saying anything, Phi turned and walked into the room just left of theirs. That left only myself, Clover, and Tenmyoji. <laughs> That will make you choose ally? Convince, probably a better word. <laughs> well, dude, we, we worked together twice, you know? We make a great team. I have the power of doodling stuff if we get hard stuff. No one else can do that. I'm a trustworthy guy. Sigma's also kind of built. Built large. It's a win-win. <laughs> well, it's not that complicated. I promise you that Clover and I will vote ally. That's it, pretty much. 
Yeah, well, dude, that's that's also a Chad move. <laughs> it's like Team Super Paper. Just always don't ally. Don't even care if they know. Yeah, you want to kill me, bro? You want to kill me in cold blood? You want to ostracize yourself from the group? I feel like if someone purposely kills someone in the voting game, they better get freaking yeeted from the group, man. Or at least no trust in them. You'll kill me. <laughs> I disagree. Clover's BP is 6. If you ally and we betray, then she'd have enough points to escape, right? She could run off through the number 9 door as soon as this round is over. That's actually smart, yeah. It is true, both Dio, Quartz... And, uh, ten, not ten Mioji, well, ten Mioji too. And Clover, I guess. And K. If they win, they can actually just leave. So, like, if Dio won, it would be horrible. So, they're probably gonna ned ned. Unless Dio's gonna think, know that, and then choose ally to make himself seem better. Which is kind of big brain. I don't know if he will, though. Yeah, they could do that, but... <laughs> they're a true snake. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. I don't know, Clover, man. Clover's a little cold-blooded when she needs to. Hey, remember that, uh, the future possibility where, uh, Clover, uh, uh, kills Junpei with an axe? <laughs> you know, it's not canon, but it's always, it's a possibility. She has it in her. That's why you gotta be careful around her. <laughs> but think about it from my perspective. Sure, you might not, but you also might. If I just run, that's pr a pretty big loss for me. It's hard. I mean, Tenmyo just thinking of all the angels. You know, knowing me, like, maybe it'll work if there wasn't a character named Alice in the game. So, easy. <laughs> what? No offense, Clover. I'm a man of my word. As long as it's not Alice. But she's also a good person, so I think we're good the whole game. I'm choosing hard ally every time. Besides the times we need to choose Betray just to uh, get the route. That's all I'm saying. Seduce me, huh? <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> I see that smile, Clover. Sid <laughs> was a little bit of a creep, eh? The thigh thing with, um, Phi. What else did he do? He did something else kind of weird. Oh yeah, the sweat thing with Clover. <laughs> uh, it's alright. He's just on the grind, bro. He deserves that, I guess. Well, that's that then. Not gonna lie though, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Ten Miyoji sympathizes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I know we had that whole rant where, like, I'm never trusting this guy again. I got over it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pinky. Of course. Dude, if he choose Betray, trust is fully lost, man. With ten Miyoji, at least. I believe him. Oh. 
Alright, we need to let go in. I'm trusting you too. Tanmyoji gave us a curt nod, then turned and strode into the second AB room from the left. Right, well, let's get to it. All right, let's go. No seduction, Clover. Uh oh. <laughs> What's up? Is she memeing? What? Bro, I knew Clover had it in her, dude. She's cold blooded. Yeah, well, um. Okay. Hey, Sigma. Just, just run and click the button. <laughs> Anything. Oh, no. Temptation, dude. <laughs> that is true. Is this another penis brain dilemma? You know, we recently had that in our playthrough of Downfall, where I chose the penis over uh, the brain, and uh, it didn't work out. Also, again. We have Alice in this game and uh, Alice over Clover, in my opinion. Let's wise, not personality. We don't know them. So, uh, I'm hard allying, but it is tempting. Bro, I love how she was just lying to his face, man. Hey, now, that's not very nice. It is the safe choice, but... That's why we are a Sigma male. We go for the wrists. But if he chooses ally and we don't. I, I believe that. I believe that because I don't think she would abo abandon Alice to be fair. Yeah, okay. Still, I'm not. I'm not snaking him. Me and Ten Miyoji, we've become brothers, unless he kills us. <laughs> my, my, um, uh, she is being cute. She's grabbing her hair with two hands. Is that cute? I think it is. Twenty seconds. The voting machine was in front of me. I didn't have much time left to think. Would I keep my promise to Tenmyoji and pick ally? Or would I betray him for Clover and and... Uh... Bro, sh <sighs> I I understand, Sidma. I, I do. <laughs> Actually, penis brain. Dilemma. Again, you know, Sigma, let me just tell you about a game called Downfall, where you can choose to kill your best friend and uh, you get this really hot girl, or just kill the hot girl who's clearly evil, and your best friend will be alive. And then I chose the best friend, and then the girl laughed, so we killed her, and it was just bad. I don't think it's worth it, Sigma. There's only one choice for once, for once in our gaming life, we're gonna go rose before hose the true sigma grind set
バイバイ。You have eight points, Clover. No point of getting mad. If she does get mad. Easy. Easy choice. No temptation on it. Well, maybe a little when it got a little spicy, but. I believe. Hopefully no one died. I mean, Faya and Luna can't die. The only person who can die is Alice, which she can't die because it's an automatic ally. So I guess no one could actually die this round. Unless Tenmyoji is truly a snake, but I think we're really bonding with him. <laughs> Dude, if, the, if it's possible to choose Tenmyoji every time for this round, I'm just trying to do it, bro. We have a bond. Screw everyone else. And by screw, I mean I like everyone besides Port and Deal. Because they kind of scare me. Alright. What's happening? I want to see the results. Only... A oh. Oh. Alice K. Ally. Ally. Easy. Betray. Betray. Yep. Deal's a freaking killer. You knew it was coming. Ten Miyoji hit you with the ally. Okay. Actually, easy results. I believed in Tenmyoji. I believed in Alice and Kate. Fork was automatic. I knew Dio was this freaking snake. Dude, he was not only a killer, he would have killed two people. I wonder if that uh, exonerates Quark from picking Betray. I still don't think Dio is zero, by the way. I just think he's an opportunist snaky kind of guy but he did do that sketchy line in the lounge so i don't know maybe anyways based we're gonna save here though perfect time to save we'll see everyone's reactions dude no one wants no one's gonna want to work with dio bro i mean i kind of want to work with him because it sounds funny but <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, good episode, good lore. I love me some lore episodes once in a while. And yeah, I guess next time we'll see the reaction, see what we do in our downtime. If we're gonna explore um the next uh the bottom floor more. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe Ten Mioji will finish his story, but for some reason I have a feeling it might not happen. <laughs> might be a later on thing. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.